Good morning. My name is Brian Ramayana. I'm going to give you a talk on the effect of nubium doping on major spinel lithium manganese oxide surfaces using the density functional theory. The work is supervised by Dr. Santos D. Santos Kabalal, Dr. KP Manager, Dr. KT Malachi, uh, Professor N.H.D. Liu, and Professor P. Ingweb. Spinel lithium manganese oxide appeared as one of the best substitute for transitional cathode material due to its 3D structural, structural array that allows a smooth diffusion of lithium in and out of the cathode material. And it is also considered because of its low toxicity, affordability, and high energy density. However, it's, it experienced a severe capacity fading mainly due to the manganese dissolution, which is a result from the disproportionation reactions uh, of trivalent manganese ions. Several methods have been used to reduce this manganese dissolution, which includes the deposition of surface coating material, the synthesis of spinel with exposed 111 surfaces, and tuned uh, trivalent manganese concentrations, and the surface cation doping. And in this, in this case, surface coating, uh, surface doping was considered as the best way to reduce uh, the number of trivalent manganese uh, ions. And various dopants were already used, which include the aluminum, uh, cobalt, nickel, titanium, nubium, sodium and fluoride and etc. However, the nubium uh, doping was deemed one of the best quality dopants mainly because of its uh, strong bonding with oxygen than with manganese as compared to the one with manganese. And in this work, we use the spin polarized density functional theory to study its effect uh, on the spinel surfaces. And the spinel lithium manganese oxide is a face centered cubic structure with a space group FDM, uh, FD3M, with a lattice constant of 8.24, which is in line with the reported literature. And it, it has a cubic closed pack array of oxygen occupying the dd 2 e sites, the lithium and manganese occupying the 1,8 tetrahedral sites, and the 1,5 octahedral 16D sites. And this, in this work, we use the spin polarized density functional theory as implemented in the Vienna ab initio simulation package. You, we use the generalized graded approximation using the Pegibeck as an of exchange correlation functionals. The cutoff energy was fixed at 560 electron volts and the cutoff energy was used was five by five by five for the bulk and five by five by one for the surfaces. And we also included the semi-empirical method of CRIM to model the wrong long range dispersion, correct, dispersion interactions and to describe the surface properties. And also due to the delocalized 3D manganese ions, we employed uh, the uh, U parameter of 4.0 electron volts, which is also in the uh, range reported for manganese ions. And firstly, we went on and uh, modeled our surfaces from an a fully optimized bulk using metadice code, wherein we found we, we modeled only the 011, the 001, and the 11 surfaces. And there we calculated the stability by uh, using the equations uh, for unrelaxed and relaxed surfaces. And for unrelaxed surfaces, we ran the single point calculations for atom which were fixed at bulk positions. And for the relaxed, 
we ran the half relaxed surfaces wherein uh, the top players were allowed to move, atoms on the top layers were allowed to move, while the uh, lower on the bottom, the atoms were fixed at bulk positions, wherein we found that the most stable surface was the 001 uh, with uh, the surface energy of 0 0.04 electron volts per angstrom. Uh, and we went on also and used the, the surface energies modeled or calculated to check the, uh, the stability trend of these surfaces, wherein we found that the surface 001 um, dominates the morphology of uh, this lithium manganese oxide and followed by the 011 and then the 11 surfaces. And this work was, uh, th this was part of the work published in 2020 uh, in the paper uh, indicated below. And we went on and uh, modeled and investigated the doping sites of um, nubium on the major lithium manganese oxide surfaces, wherein for uh, the 011, the 001, we found three sites, which were the seaside, the bridging, and the hollow. And for the 011, we were and the 11 surfaces, we only found one manganese top atom, which we can dope on. Further to study the stability of these surfaces, doped surfaces as compared to the uh, pure pristine surfaces, we went on and calculated that surface free energies um, using the equation indicated wherein we found that the surface free energies for doped surfaces uh, tend to increase as compared to the surface energies of the pure pristine surfaces, uh, which indicates that the, the surface destabilizes upon doping. And furthermore, we went on and checked the uh, morphology of the surfaces as compared to the pure pristine surfaces, wherein we found that um, doping with the nubium on the top layers of this lithium manganese oxide surfaces uh, enhances the 0, 0, 001 surface and um, uh, diminish the the zero the one 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 surface. And also on this morphology of the doped surfaces, uh, this the zero one one surface is not um, visible mainly because of its ratio, the difference between difference of surface energies as compared to the um, zero, zero, 001. Furthermore, we went on and checked the density of states, wherein we found that from the density of state, we observed sort of a pseudo cap um, at the zero, zero, 001, then when checking the stability trend, we can clearly see that the, the surface stability follow the one with for 0, 0, 001 as the most stable surface followed by the 0, 1, 1 and the 1, 1 surfaces. This is also after doping. And as we can see, uh, doping on the top layers of this lithium manganese oxide doesn't really affect the uh, stability of these surfaces only destabilizes the, the individual uh, surfaces. I mean, it doesn't uh, affect the stability trend of the surfaces. Uh, then in conclusion, we can successfully say that we've used the density functional theory to investigate the effect of nubium doping on the top layers of the a major lithium manganese oxide surface, the 001, the 011, and the 11 surface. And the 011 surface was found to be the most stable surface with the lowest uh, surface energy of 0 0.04 electron volts per angstrom for pure or uh, pristine surfaces. And then upon doping, we observed an increase in surface uh, free energies as compared to the surface energies of the pure pristine surfaces, which indicates 
a destabilizing effect of the uh, surfaces upon doping. And the morphologies also indicated that the most dominant surface before and after doping was the 001 plane. Uh, and the density of states also confirmed that the 001 uh, is the most stable surface with the, uh, followed by the 011 and the 11 surfaces. And however, the, the, the destabilizing effect occurred on the surfaces, um, individual surfaces, but the stability trend of the surfaces remained the same as in the pure pristine surfaces. Then I would like to acknowledge the following parties, the University of Limpopo Material Modeling Center, the CHPC, Supercomputing Wells, uh, then, then NRF for funding, and ACA for some of the computational resources. Thank you.